Hello guys, this is Modest Major here, bringing you some commentary over some King of the Hill gameplay taking place on the map Haven. First thing first, I want to apologize because I gave you guys a King of the Hill video last video for my Halo Master Chief Connection announcement uh, video, which there'll be a, dis a link in the description for if you missed it or if you want to watch it, etc. Um, but I'm sure by now you guys know exactly what's happening with Halo. You'd be living under a rock if you didn't. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty similar gameplay. It's taking place, Haven, King of the Hill. It's just that there was recently a rotational playlist for King of the Hill, and I played it an absolutely ludicrous amount. So hopefully that doesn't bore you too much, but moving on, I want to get into the topic for today. Uh, the Master Chief Collection has been announced, and uh, everyone's kind of lost their minds, it's safe to say, in a good way, in a very good way. Uh, and I am certainly part of that fan base. Um, you know, the trailer has been incredibly good, and honestly, there's really not much warning signs about it. There's not much for me to be worried about. Uh, I'm pretty easy to please with Halo games. I've mentioned this in a ton of commentaries, uh, but, you know, I played Halo 4 for a ridiculous amount. I played Halo 3, Halo 2. I didn't like Halo Reach too much, but I wasn't a part of the YouTube community at that time, and maybe if I'd have uh, poured more time into it, had more dedication, I probably could have found stuff that I really did like in Halo Reach. I'm not saying it was 100% a bad game, but I didn't like the DMR. I freaking hate that DMR. I hope it dies a horrible death. Uh, I like the Halo 4 DMR. I don't hate it anyway. But yeah, there we go. So it, for me, I'm not that hard to please. But one thing I do know is that our Halo community most certainly is hard to please. I've been a part of a lot of gaming communities in my time. The Gears of War community. I've been a part of the Rainbow Six community. I've been a part of the Call of Duty community. Blah! I'm just joking. But Call of Duty was good at one point. Black Ops 1. I don't care. Black Ops 1 was great. Every other COD game, not so much. But still, uh, you know, I've been a part of the Call, Call of Duty community, and uh, there's no fan base that uh, demand perfection and demand such high standards, such a high caliber of gameplay uh, than the Halo community. And this was something that made me used to make me quite a bit bitter, because I've always been of the mindset of a glass half full mentality. Uh, you know, I look at Halo 4 and I know it's got a laundry list of disgusting problems, but I, I still can't help but look at it from the perspective of, I thought it was the best FPS on the market. If you look at Call of Duty Ghosts, I didn't really even like Black Ops 2 too much. I know a lot of people did, so I don't want to slag that off too much. Um, but Battlefield 4 was kind of a failure at launch in terms of the first month being a broken game, and I couldn't help but look at Halo 4 and think, well, you know, I enjoyed this more than Halo Reach, and I still think it's the best FPS on the market. I still think it's the best FPS that tailors to this arena shooter vibe, to some extent. I know it had a lot of things to detract from that, uh, but as far as console FPS goes, it definitely went the closest to this arena shooter vibe, to competitive multiplayer, etc. Um, unfortunately, on the flip side, a lot of people strongly disagreed. And this was something I used to be really, really bitter about, because, uh, I, I don't know, I just don't like the feeling of missing out on a game experience because people can't help but compare it to previous games. However, since the Master Chief Collection has been announced, I can't help but feel maybe I was a little bit wrong on this issue. Uh, that maybe people were right to go out of their way to push free for free into making a better game. I feel like they could have voiced their opinions a little bit more constructively, but at the same time, if we hadn't have got all this uh, negativity and this uh, strong, strong backlash of criticism uh, from the community, we probably would have never have got as complete a package as we did in the Master Chief Collection. Uh, and that makes me a very happy guy. You you know, if we had to uh, go through a period of darkness, of despair, of, uh, you know, hopelessness, that we're never going to get the game we want from the community, uh, maybe I can take that if it means that the start to the Xbox One is going to be like a new, fresh, golden age. And this is the new beginning uh, for the Halo community, and this is a chance for it to get as big as it possibly can. Uh, there's a lot of big figures on Twitter, such as Optic Nadeshot, who's saying, you know, I can't wait to get back on Halo 2, I can't wait to bounce back on. I see UGC getting retweets about starting uh, tournaments for Halo in general, and MLG, of course, reaching around 6,000 retweets for a major Halo event. I think it was 6,000 last time I checked. Maybe it's even more. Probably even more, to be honest. And that blows my mind. And, you know, like I said, if Halo 4 had to be a learning curve uh, for the future of the franchise, I can definitely accept that. At this point, it was hard to accept it a year ago when I wanted Halo 4 to be big, but, you know, sometimes I think it's just a matter of it's always darkest before the dawn, and here comes our dawn. But at the same time, I have this, like, 
pensiveness, this reservations, these reservations towards, you know, how the game's going to go down, what are the potential pitfalls that this could run into, because like I said, the community have a tendency to be hypercritical, and I want to be looking out for the things uh, in advance to think, okay, what is something that people would potentially hate? And you already see stuff like this popping up on YouTube comment sections, on forums, etc. Of people saying, I don't like the way the new sniper looks and acts. Is it going to feel the same? Are the weapons going to feel the same? Button glitches, will they work the exact way? The same timings, etc.? Will there be super bounces? And I feel like it's going to be extremely hard to be able to please people. And I don't want to run into a problem where it's like... A couple of weeks down the line, the game's almost perfect. The game has everyone on board, but there's one small little thing, one tiny little game mechanic that has people on edge. Uh, another problem that I've been wondering about is the issue of uh, the game's division, is in the, the community's division, moreover, in terms of, you know, are, how many people are going to play Combat Evolved? How many people are going to play Halo 2? How many people are going to play Halo 3? I mean, for me, the decision between playing Halo 2 and Halo 3 on launch will actually be pretty hard because I probably prefer the game mechanics of Halo 2, but I think Halo 3 has a more complete map list. And I think Forge will be more interesting on that game. And Halo 3 had a lot going for it, but at the same time, I obviously want to play the remastered Halo 2 maps, and I think a lot of people will be hyped for that. Will there be any people playing Halo 4? That's a good question. How will they manage the playlists on that game? Will they take, you know, 3, 4, 5? Uh, how will they decide which playlist to take? Will Join in Progress work on that game? What will the game mechanics be like? Will they have V5 settings for certain playlists? Or will it be the exact Infinity Slayers that were shipped with the game? Um, then Combat Evolved. Combat Evolved, does it have a big enough community to stand on its own two feet for any amount of time? You know, I'm looking forward to Combat Evolved. But how many people will be playing it over Halo 2 when Halo 2 has a lot, a lot of similar maps to Halo 1? And it also has uh, a HD remade maps, etc. So I don't know. I'm super curious and I wonder about, you know, whether it will hinder or help the community by having so much choice. Will it mean that we get less numbers in the competitive community for one specific game or will 343 be pushing the community towards one specific game and saying this is the game you want to be playing on MLG, this is the game that earns the money, this has the most complex ranking system, we've reworked uh, a lot of the way the, the game's infrastructure is set. Another thing is we still don't know about clans, we still don't know about how clan integration will work. Uh, the custom game integration, the custom game options, will they be as robust? I'm pretty sure they will be, but it'll be interesting to see uh, for the actual HD remake, will there be changes in the custom game options? Will there be changes in how the game can be played? And will more people want to just play vanilla Halo 2? Any small little tiny problem uh, could set people... Uh, against a Halo 2 anniversary remake and make them go, I'd rather just play the Halo 2 remade maps. Like, I'd rather play them in their original form. I don't want to play these HD maps. So I'm super curious, and I'm sure you guys are fairly interested to see what goes down. Either way, I'm going to be playing it. I'm not saying I'm worried. I don't care, but I'm worried about what the community, how they're going to react. I know I'll react good no matter what, but we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, I've been Modest Major. Thank you for watching. Peace.